Brantley, 2744. Hey! Is everything all right? Yeah. Uh, just a follow-up exam. Okay. Anything else wrong? No. Uh, well, yeah. My father's being sentenced today. Okay. I was thinking about going. But what good would that do, right? Well, I don't know. You tell me. For some people, it might help. See things firsthand. Bring some kind of closure, maybe. I'm not naive enough to think I'm ever going to get closure. I've had to deal with him my whole life. Anyway, I, I had this appointment scheduled for today, so... Well, I can get that changed, you know. I mean, don't let it stop you if you feel that it would help for you to be in court. Really? Yeah. One of the perks of being chief of staff. Maybe I will go. Thank you. I can't do it. I can't go. For all we know, he... I'm afraid to go to court. What's happened to me? I certainly didn't lack any courage when I was going after your family. Well, it took your whole life. Years and years of his and your husband's abuse. To start behaving the way that you did. It wasn't as much courage as it was an attempt to please them. Maybe that's one of my problems. But I, I feel like I always need some man to tell me what to do. No matter how awful they've been to me in the past. I've never heard you talk about your mother. How come? Perhaps because she would prefer not to talk about me. My mother is, uh... Well, let's just say that shallow is a kind way of describing her. All she ever cared about was fitting into the upper crust. When the next event or party would be taking place. How to guarantee that her picture would end up on the style pages or, or when her next alimony check would arrive. Where does she live? <sighs> Florida now. I'm afraid I embarrass her immensely. Hey, Madison, they said you were up here getting a checkup. I thought you'd want to hear this right away. So uh, the sentencing is over, and your father is going to do jail time. How long? Well, uh, with the court-approved counseling sessions that he's already agreed to, he could be up for parole in less than a year. Well, there it is. I mean, you said that you wanted to give yourself a deadline, and you've got a year, a whole year to get yourself better and stronger and to convince yourself that you can rebuild your own life without having a man to tell you to do it. And I, for one thing, she can pull it off. How about you? <laughs> yeah, I'd put money on that. Hey, how'd the checkup go? Clean bill of health. Listen, um, I just wanted to make sure that you didn't think I was poking my nose in where it didn't belong earlier when I asked about your mother. Oh, no, not at all. I, uh, did have my reasons. Dr. Psychologist. A woman psychologist. Madison, after hearing you talk about all the men who've had a negative effect on your life, I figured having an intelligent woman to talk to might do some good. You do. Maybe I am. 